Hello everyone. Welcome to the last video in this series for Simulink model for electrical circuit. In the last video, we designed a three-phase VSI inverter circuit. In this video, we will be using or we will be designing a three-phase pulse width modulator inverter circuit. Okay. So, a pulse width modulation or PWM is used to deliver energy through successive pulses rather than a continuously varying signal. Okay. So, these pulses or the width of these pulses will control the amplitude or the magnitude of the analog signal which is being produced by this inverter circuit. So therefore by increasing or decreasing the pulse width the controller regulates the energy flow to the load. In general a simple comparator circuit with sawtooth wave carrier can be used to generate a PWM signal. So in general we can use a, a sawtooth wave as a carrier and uh, you can include the modulating signal which will generate the uh, PWM signal. Uh, but we are going to use IGBT in our circuit. So, the question for this uh, circuit is, we have to implement a three-phase PWM circuit with the following specification. The DC voltage, it is generally uh, AC voltage divided by 0 0.66. Okay, so the desired AC voltage is 300 volt. So that is my output AC voltage and uh, so DC voltage should be 300 divided by 0 0.66. The load resistance is 1 ohm and the load inductance is 5 millihenry. So let us go on to Simulink and try to implement this circuit. Okay, so to implement this PWM inverter circuit, the first thing that we will need is a DC voltage source. Okay, so let's search for DC voltage source. We are going to use this one. Okay, now the magnitude or the amplitude for this DC voltage source should be 300 divided by 0 0.66. Okay. The next thing that we will need is the IGBT or the universal bridge. Now, to find this universal bridge what I will do is I will search for power underscore AC DC AC converter okay so if you type this as it is on MATLAB in the command window uh, you will get this type of a circuit it will open this type of a circuit so I'm going to copy this one okay and paste it in my circuit so this is generally not available uh, in Simulink right now so now I can connect my 
apply DC to both of these input. Okay, something like that. The next thing I will need is a pulse width modulator PWM generator. Okay, so let us search for this one. So we are going to use PWM generator to level. Okay, so let's place it somewhere here. Okay. Now, if you double click on the block, we have to make some changes here okay so first of all the generator type is a three phase bridge okay unsynchronized it is okay and the frequency we need is 15,000 initial degree is okay all the things are fine and then I will have to check this box internal generation of reference signal and change the frequency to 50 Hertz and zero phase degree okay. Now we can connect the PWM generator to our IGPT. Okay, so we can call this as IGPT Universal. Next, we have to connect a load. Okay, so let's search for RLC branch. Okay, and we will need a three phase load. Okay, this one three phase series RLC now we need RL resistive and inductive load okay so the resistance should be 1 ohm and the inductance should be 5 milli henry so I'm going to change it to 5 e to the power minus 3. Okay. Now we can connect the three inputs uh, to the IGBT universal bridge. But before doing that, let me add the current measurement block so that we can measure the current as well okay something like this I will make the connections okay Now let us add the voltage measurement to measure the phase 
voltage and connect it to one of the phase. Next, we will need the RMS block. So let's search for true RMS. This one. Okay. Now let's change the parameter for this RMS block and change the fundamental frequency to 50 Hertz and sampling time to TS okay so we are assigning a variable okay So we can assign the same variable TS to this pulse width modulator generator, PWM generator also. We will change the sample time to TS. Okay. Later on, we can assign the sample time to this uh, uh, variable. Next, uh, we can connect this RMS block to a display. A number display. Okay, this one. So this is my phase voltage. Okay. Sorry, uh, this will be my line voltage. Now we can uh, connect a ground to the remaining terminals of the three phase load okay. then we can connect the three output to an oscilloscope Okay, so let's use a multiplexer and change the number of inputs to 3 and we can connect these current measurements to this multiplexer. And we will need a scope. So we can connect this to a scope. Next, we need to measure the total harmonic distortions, THD. So let's add it here, okay, and change the fundamental frequency to 50. 
50 Hertz and the sampling time to ds, the same variable. Next, we will need a gain block. So let's add it here. change the gain to 100. Okay. And also we will need a number display. So this will display my THD in percentage. And let us measure the current from any of the lines, okay, from the last one. Now finally, we'll have to add a power GUI block. So, now we can change the stop time to 0 0.08 okay so the circuit is uh, almost complete okay now the only thing we need to set is the ds sample time so we can go into matlab and set the variable ds is equal to 5.144 e to the power minus 0 6 e to the power minus 6 okay now let us run this circuit. So I am getting 301.2 as the line voltage. Okay, and the total harmonic distortion is 3.016. So let us check the waveforms. So as you can see, we are getting all the three phases and they are really smooth the waveform so if we compare uh, the output of a pwm inverter with the vsi inverter circuit the output is much smoother for pwm inverter now uh, Similar to the last video, you can also do the FFT analysis. So I have explained all the steps and you can mm, follow the same steps to uh, do the fast Fourier transform analysis for this circuit as well. Okay. So this is all that I wanted to discuss in this video and thank you for watching this video and if you have any queries or questions please feel free to contact me thank you very much mm -hmm.